In the year 832, in open land about 25 miles east of Edinburgh, two armies prepared to meet in battle. On one side, the Picts, a Celtic people, under their king Angus. On the other, the Angles, from the south, under their king Athelstan. Now legend has it that the night before the battle, King Angus had a dream in which the Apostle St Andrew, whose relics had recently been brought to what is now Scotland, appeared to him and promised the Picts victory in the battle. The next morning, Angus mustered his troops and told them of his dream. Suddenly, in the clear blue sky above the battlefield, white clouds appeared and formed into a diagonal cross, the same shape as the cross on which St Andrew had been crucified. The Picts took this as a sign that the saint would make good his promise, and the battle was won. The St Andrew's Cross, or Saltire, a white diagonal cross set on a blue background, has been used as a symbol in Scotland through the centuries. Today it is the flag of Scotland, and St Andrew is Scotland's patron saint. Every year the 30th of November is celebrated in Scotland as St Andrew's Day. But every day, here in the main hall of the Scottish Parliament, if we do as the Picts did all those years ago and look up, in the ceiling above our heads are abstracts of the St Andrew's Cross, shown as banners pulled by the breeze.